friends welcome back to trendy diy 29 back with another video guys as you can see i'm at tractor supply i am finally about to get my arch trellis as you guys noticed in my one video i used ladder mesh last year to build a trellis it does work don't get me wrong but you only have about eight inches of width to grow on and then the ladder mesh is really really spaced out so you gotta like invert string in it in order to um you know give your plants something extra to hold on to so finally this year i said you know what i'm going to tractor supply and i'm going to go find me cattle panel even though i live in an area that's really no farm so this tractor supply was literally like almost 30 something minutes from my house but i'm here and i want to show you guys all of the great things that i plan on buying and oh my goodness they have chickens Nobody prepared me for the fact that they had chickens. I know that Tractor Supply sells chickens. I just figured that they did not sell chickens in my area because it's really not like a farm type of area. But no, there's chickens. It's going to take everything out of me, okay, to not end up taking home chickens. I don't even know if I legally can even have chickens. But guys, now that I know where to get chickens at, I'm really going to start to look into potentially how to go about getting them but most likely i would not be getting chickens at the property that i'm at now that would definitely have to be for a different property but let me zoom you guys out and i'm gonna show you guys around because i'm shopping for the cattle panel now the area that i'm in i'm outside of like this little fenced in area but we're gonna walk up here and see because the lady told me that they had some and i see the cattle panel up here now usually cattle panel comes in 16 feet um long and it also will come into um 16 feet and 8 feet most people if you have a small car they'll get two eight feet they'll put them together zip tom together and that's how they'll build their trellis me i'm trying to get the 16 foot because i want it to be a nice arch at the top but you can connect them guys so don't be discouraged so right here they have different colors this is the orange cattle panel and i don't know if you guys can see but it's pretty heavy it's very heavy and you guys can see that they have all of these little holes in it so let me go down here so i can price this freaking 69.99 okay wow not saying that that's too expensive because yeah this stuff will hold up in the weather and for years and years and years it's a good investment but i don't need this many holes what we're looking for is something that the that the holes are close enough together so that our plants can climb but get something that is easy that we can harvest our um, fruits and vegetables from so these holes will be kind of hard say for instance if you plant cucumbers or squash they could potentially grow inside the holes and then get misshapen and break so over here we have our green now this is the one that i'm gonna get guys i want you guys to see let me see the size of the holes right here so it has nice size holes this is the green let me see where's the price for the green would be nice to know okay so the green guys is $31 which to me is really cheap and I'm gonna show you how I've already started preparing it because I have a regular four-door car um, nothing big no truck or anything but this is basically how I plan on taking it home it bends nicely Did you guys to see it bent nicely so this is about it bends into a nice little um, I want to say this looks like it's about almost four feet, five feet, but I'm putting this on T post guys and I'm going to zip tie and everything together, but this is the arch. I have it folded. It's literally holding its shape. You see that on the sides, I don't know if you guys really, it's hard to really show you, but on the sides guys, you can see that these holes are smaller, like right here. I want to say this is maybe a three maybe four by six or something like that. And then as you get past these last, these first two, we go over and then now you get bigger holes. This, these holes, if you guys can see, is skinnier on one side and then you get to a bigger one. Yeah, that's a better. But this is definitely spaced out enough, is definitely enough, um, you know, material so that my beans can climb. Cause right now the spaces on my trellis are so big that I had to weave string because they just could not reach from the ground to grab onto it. So I'm gonna be probably installing my old trellis somewhere else in the garden and this one will be going up. So let's go inside guys and we're gonna take a look and see the other things that they have to offer. 
Okay, guys, so I'm going in now. We're going to go in, and I don't know if I told you guys in the last video, but my onions died, unfortunately. So my onions died. Now, I still do have the bunch and red beard onions still. They're started, but the, can't remember, but the yellow onions that I planted in the last video, they died, like, literally. I don't think, I'm still going to try to grow them, but they don't look like I'm going to get anything. But what they do have, they have freaking onion sets here. Now, the onion sets... You really want to look at look for something that's a little bit more better than this. As you guys can see, it's kind of dry. Um, ideally, you would want yours to be moist. But I'm just going to go, and this is like really the bunches are all falling apart. But I'm going to take my chances with this. And try to get some that are greener. Like these look like they are... These ones you see, they have a greener top. But the bottoms look a little bit more dead. So, some more over here, guys. So, I have white onions. Now, I'm buying stuff like this. They may or may not grow. But, we're going to take our chances. And I'm going to get me a bunch of these. Okay, there's beetles in here, guys. You see the little beetle? But, I'm trying to pick out... Just a nice little onion set. Like right now, it's like you get what you get at this point. But this is what I have. They're like what I'm going to do when I go home, put them in some water. But you can see some of these are already rotting. This is not ideal. But what I see right here, that green, is going to let me know that it's going to come back. So I'm just going to get me some of these. Actually, I wonder, do these ones actually look better? Let's see. I will get one of white and one of... I don't even know how much these are. So, I'm just going to get a bunch of these. Hopefully, they're okay. If not, I do have the red bunch of onions at home. And they sell Bonnie plants, which I think is so weird. Like, I thought Bonnie plants were... I thought they were going to be selling, like, local plants or something, but I guess not. But yeah, they have the German Queen. That's a really good one. Red beef steak. Um, they're 15% off, so technically they're cheaper than your big box stores. But what I will tell you guys, do not buy this. Like, for instance, right here, you see this? Swiss chard, romaine lettuce. These are all the things you should never buy because they literally grow in 30 days. Go buy you a pack of seeds for a dollar, two dollars. Go to the dollar store, get them for 50 cents. And I'm telling you, you will be able to grow these exact same plants that look a hell of a lot better than these because these have seen better days. Like, I never thought that tractor supply plants would look this bad. I'm just saying, I thought that they would have, you know, people working here that kind of knew. Like, even the marigolds are dying. You know, marigolds are easy to keep alive. But, yeah, like, look at this. And another secret I'm going to show you guys is how do you end up with, how do you get the best bang for your buck when you shop at a big box store this is what you look for i want to show you let me sit my little onions down real quick because i got to show you guys something let me see if i can find one so we're going to go all through these plants okay I'm trying to show you guys an example boom found one that fast so for instance say you want to buy this um Swiss chard plant looks jacked up. Do not buy a plant that looks like this, guys. But this is just an example. Say if you wanted to buy the Swiss chard plant and you're like, okay, I'm gonna come here. Usually these plants are four or five dollars for one plant. But what you need to do is you need to start doing because these are big seed companies. They have big big grow houses. When they're having people throwing seeds, they always, just like we do growing, we always plant at least two seeds per hole to guarantee that we will have germination. And they do the same thing at these big companies like Bonnie and Fairy Morris. So when you look inside of here, I want you guys to see what's in there. There's two plants in here. Here goes one. No, there's actually three. Here goes two. That's an orange. Look, orange Swiss chard. You got your white Swiss chard. And then you got a yellow Swiss chard. So you're literally getting three plants for the price of one. You can find this at a lot of different stores. So take your time and go through all of them and look for the ones where all the seeds that they planted germinated. For instance, I bet you'll be able to find another one. 
And it's not just that. Peppers too. Right here. This is a green bell pepper. This is a, a six pack. But if you look in this six pack, this first one right here, look at this. You have two plants right there. So right now you have seven. So you have seven plants. That's probably a better example in here somewhere. But like always look for that because everybody always start two to three seeds in each cell. So to make sure that you get a guaranteed germination. But the fact that um, usually seeds germinate, because like I say, plants, they want to grow. The fact that they want to grow is the reason why you're going to nine times a 10 be able to find plenty of plants that have a ton, a ton of plants in one thing. And another thing that I find really crazy is that here at Tractor Supply, they literally sell the same plants as Bonnie. But if you go to Home Depot, you cannot buy a six pack. You cannot buy a six pack of these. So the fact that you can't buy a six pack of these at the big box store, but you can get the exact same and you can get a six pack of these at Tractor Supply. But for some reason, Home Depot and Lowe's, they don't allow you. They don't sell them in six packs. I guess they're trying to make the most money. Like you can't get these type of onion um, transplants. You can only get the onion sets. I always get sets and transplants mixed together, but the sets, the little bulbs. So I'm going to get my little onions, hope and pray to God that they grow, guys, because they're kind of dry. Like you want to get them earlier in the season. But like I said, mine died. So this is what it's came to. I did start the red beard onions indoors already. Those should be ready to go outside probably in the next few weeks. But what I'm gonna do is take these home. I'm gonna soak them in some water with a tiny bit of fish emulsion. And I'm gonna cut a lot of this brown off so I can just only see that green. And I'm just gonna let them sit under the grow lights for like the next two or three days. And then once I see them to start to sprout more green, I'll know that they're ready and they're viable. All the ones that don't look like they're sprouting anything, I'm gonna toss them. So that's how I'm gonna do that. So when we get back to the house, we're gonna get these ready and to go out to be planted because they should have been planted. I'm going to take you guys inside so we can see what's going on because I'm getting my trellis guys. Finally, the person just came out. They're going to go get it. So we got to go get the staples. Let's go check out the birds and I'll be back. walk back and try and look at these guys like to really make a statement as you guys know my garden is I care about the beauty some people don't but these are really really nice they will last only thing is only thing is about these planters is that over time they will not be this pristine and beautiful I'm just letting you know so you need to pre-treat them whenever you buy any type of wood like this you're gonna want to pre-treat them with let me pre-treat them with either mineral oil that's really good that's going to keep them from rotting is going to keep them with their same luxor but also make sure that you look at the type of wood that you're buying because just because it's cheap does not mean it's going to last just oh my gosh guys i have to have this look at this if this is not the cutest thing you've ever seen my seeds i have too many seeds they probably won't even fit in here but i'm getting it anyway but I'm going to probably get this, guys. May or may not. Because technically I need something like three times the size of this for my seeds. But we'll see. 
These are really cute. And this is like the cute stuff that I just love to decorate. I'm really not here to decorate my house, so what am I doing? Getting sidetracked. But this is just, look at this guys. Pardon the weeds, they're feeding the bees. That's cute. That is really cute. But look out for my next video. I'm going to have a video out. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to be making garden decor. I just have not filmed it yet. But I got all the materials. So look out for that video. It should be coming out next. But let's go look at the seeds. And see what if we actually need any more seeds. Which I know we do not need seeds. But there's no such thing as too many. So we're going to go get the seeds which are down here. It's hard to push your cart and film at the same time. I keep crashing into stuff, but let's go see what they have because it seems like that they have a bigger selection than Lowe's did and their seeds are marked down. Okay, why did I come here? <laughs> but guys, all of the seeds that you see right here, I should have got these from here, but I've literally already spent like $400 on seeds. So let's spend, who wants to spend another 20? I do. So we're just going to look and see what they have. Like I said, right now it's a little too late for us to really be growing some of this stuff. We should have started this already. Um, like if you haven't grown your corn or anything like that, you should already have started that. Um, mm -hmm. Same thing with your your peppers, your eggplants. All of those should already been started, um, especially if you're in zone seven. But like I said, your zone does not. Oh, my gosh. They have the shooting stars eggplant. This is the one I just looked at the other night that I wanted. It looks really similar to um, the fairy tale eggplant, which is really tiny. Now you could probably grow a fairy tale eggplant or a patio baby right now, just because we have time. Honeycomb, so you got cloudy day. I should pick up a few packs of these hybrids. And you can see, look at the, look at the deal guys. Unheard of, right? So, just check out some of the seeds. They got the straight eight. That's really, really popular cucumber. Like it, the name implies, you get really straight cucumbers from it. Kentucky Wonder. That's one of my go-to beans, but the birds keep killing my Kentucky Wonder, so I'm gonna have to cover it. San Marzano. I heard San Marzano's are really good. Paste tomato, Black Beauty, classic. Like a lot of these are classic. Porterhouse hybrid, never heard of it. They have a salsa blend. I don't like to buy blends just because I've found that normally if you're not gonna plant the whole entire pack, you might end up with a whole bunch of the same peppers. So I like to just get individual packs. Okay, they have a, a pick a pickle bush. Now there's one that's called pick a bushel. I don't know if this is supposed to be saying because they will change the name, but it can be the same variety. So don't get caught up with that. Nine times of ten, if you find something and it looks the same, but it has a different name, it's nine times of ten. It's the exact same vegetable. It's just that the name they can change it. Certain names they can't change. Don't ask me why. Like for instance, California Wonder will always be called California Wonder, but there are certain tomatoes that they can name different names. Like maybe I'll do research and do a video on that. But I'm just looking for anything to add to my collection. Premier Kale, that's something new, guys. 247 for a pack. I'm trying to get stuff that's on sale. I'm not gonna get anything too expensive because I already have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of seeds, but I feel like you'll never, you'll never have too many. So we have some more bunching onions. Um, I'm not gonna get those though because I already have some grown. First 13P, this is supposed to be new. Just like the Pink Lady Slipper, they said was new, but technically Pink Lady Slipper is not a new variety of radish. That's just what they tell you at Burpee. Cloudy Day Hybrid, let's see. How long does these take? Oh, 70 days. Four to five ounce pure red fruits, perfect for salad tomatoes. So this seems like this would be more of like the size of a cocktail um, tomato, if you guys are familiar with that at all. The medium rare, I've heard of this one. A really nice 16 to 18 ounce fruit. And it's a hybrid, so I'm thinking I might get this. 
because I usually grow mostly all heirlooms, but heirlooms, they take the longest to ripen. So make sure that you have a few hybrids along with your heirlooms so you're not waiting all summer because I did that last year and everything came at the same time. It was overwhelming. Let me show you guys something different. Like why was you talking about the names? Right here, Burpee is calling this Dragon's Tail. If you go on Baker Creek, they call it Rat's Tail. It's the exact same radish. So use your common sense, people, and don't be buying the same seeds over again because of the name of the on the pack. For instance, La Sanado Kale, it's also known as Dinosaur Kale, is the exact same thing. Don't think that you're getting two different things. I'm gonna go down here, Salad Rose Radish. Look how pretty that is. French dressing, which is normally known as a French breakfast, same exact thing. We can just keep going on and on, on, guys. Butter stick hybrid. I want to get some Swiss chard. That's the one thing I want to get. Because I want to get the white Swiss chard. It's the most prolific. I always grow the rainbow just for the colors, but I've learned my lesson with that. I do not see rainbow Swiss, I mean the white Swiss chard, but we'll go around to the other side. Look at these massive packs, guys. Like, look at this. Like, seriously. This is freaking massive. I usually get the sugar snaps, but they don't have a massive pack of those. I would get that. Because I plant them all year long. Then they have, um, these are like the organic seeds, guys. The Tiger's Eye Sunflower Mix, that's popular. But I'm not going to be planting any more bouquet dill. I have that already. The Red Russian, I have that. Look, there go the dinosaur. Same as La Sonata. Same as um, it's something called Noro de Toscana or something. That's the exact same thing as dinosaur. It's the exact same thing as La Sonata. Um, this Waldman's Dark Green Lettuce looks very, very similar to um, Black Seed at Simpson, but I'm not sure if it is. It's probably not because Black Seed at Simpson was there. Sweet Alyssum. This is a really good thing to grow in your yard. It attracts pollinators like crazy. But let's see how long does it take. Oh, it helps. It sends in beneficial insects and it helps control aphids. So you do not want aphids in your garden. They're easy to get rid of, but you just don't want them. They, they suck the sap of your plant and it may look like your plant is okay and then they'll just die one day. So keep that in mind. I think I'm gonna get this sweet alyssum. Um, they have the market more. That's a really popular cucumber if you want something like the ones you find in the grocery store. The crook neck, that's one that grows really fast. That one's really good. The sumter, I grew that last year. The sumter is really pretty. It's like kind of stripy. And butterfly flower. Oh, they have another in alyssum. That's 178. I don't know what's the difference. So I see this alyssum and that alyssum. I don't really know. How long does it take? Let's see. Sorry, guys. Like, this is, I'm using my boyfriend's phone. So it's not my phone. So it's kind of, his phone is like extra close. Um, I see. Germinates 10 to 14 days. April's when I should have started it. So I'm late as crap. But that's when having an indoor grow station comes in handy. So all you guys are thinking about it, just do it already. Because when you're late, you can just grow it indoors and you can get it started. You don't have to worry about anything else. But I'm going to put that back because I want the white one. Or should I get the yellow one? I'm confused. Put it in the comments, guys. Should I have got the yellow or the white one? I don't know. <laughs> he said yellow. Somebody said yellow. So I'm going to get the yellow. I grow yellow every year, though. Yellow everything. That's why this year I'm trying to do pinks and greens and purples i noticed i must be really attracted to yellow and orange flowers because every year my whole garden is yellow and orange so let's move on you guys love these videos okay so i found another alyssum this one's 279 we're gonna switch it out i don't need an organic alyssum i doubt if the bees care if it's organic just saying they have a royal carpet look at that who would have knew it came in all these different colors bachelor buttons are absolutely beautiful sensation mix morning glory 
those are really popular nasturtiums i love those if you guys don't grow nasturtiums just grow them throw the seeds in your yard it'll grow and leave it alone like for people that don't want a garden just plant nasturtiums it'll make you look like you really tried i'm just saying and the gardener's twine plant clips these don't really work i like velcro tape the gardener's velcro tape that works the best for me um soil tester they're important i've had a soil tester for three years and never used it so you guys be the judge of that i just buy stuff don't necessarily need to use it these are cute little plastic but we don't need those so to be honest if i can find some more flowers that's what i want because they have garlic chive and all types of stuff guys i don't know it's like because i know i have no business buying any more seeds at all it's like brought enough seed. oh i'm gonna get this look at this a giant yellow marigold that's pretty 65 days to bloom let's see two to three feet i like growing flowers that get as tall as i am There's something about it but i'm getting this and let's see parsley i need parsley but a lot of times i just go to the grocery store buy it organic put it in water let it sprout roots and then i have a whole entire plant to put in my yard versus waiting for seeds so a lot of this stuff guys you can grow just from the grocery store just go somewhere that's reputable like i go to whole foods or harris teeter and i get it from the organic section only thing is you won't know the variety different berries grapes strawberries guys which once again is cheaper than home depot and they're more healthy like their stuff home depot is a damn mess but um yeah guys they have more and these are the onions i used to grow and last year i grew these these were stuck gutters which means they grow them first year these are second year onions what i've learned with these they tend not to get as big as i want them to but Okay, all the red onions are gone. They have sweet, they have white, the garlic, they have a purple passion asparagus. They have Mary Washington, which is a really popular, Mary Washington is the most popular asparagus if you ask me. And then they have their purple passion. Um, why not? Let's just get it guys. I've been talking about it forever, right? If I would have started my asparagus three years ago it would have been harvest time just saying and this is literally just an asparagus root when i buy stuff like this it scares me because it looks like you're just buying something dead and i really don't have that much experience with um growing asparagus i've never grown it before i really don't know what to look for i can't see inside of the bag so basically, we're gonna buy this, guys, and we're gonna cross our fingers, and we're gonna go home and plant it. Next. I wanted to get some of these red, but they don't have any. You guys can see, potatoes are gone. Your potatoes should already be planted. Like, my potatoes been planted. And I have more in the house that I'll probably give my sister. We have these onion sets right here. I don't know if I should grow them from this or grow them from this, guys. I've already tried this, and I failed, so. We're going to go with these, the onion bunches, but these are entirely look really, really dry. So only thing I can do is hope and pray. If not, I just wasted a few dollars. They have garden tone. This is really good, but I need so much of it. It's not economical to spend 15 when I'm going to need like maybe 20 bags of it. Let's see. So raised bed, garden containers. I literally started out, guys, with just something like this, just one of these, and I have the garden that I have today. So just get started and just get one. You don't need a whole bunch. Get two packs of seeds, get you a shovel and some dirt, and just one thing, it doesn't matter. Like it's, you have to get started one day. You're not gonna get everything in one, in one swoop, unless you're crazy. But just shop the sales and your whole garden will be done in like two years. You'll have everything you need. But right now, guys, what I'm looking for is I'm going to be looking for a T-post. 
And I'm trying to go find the T-post and then the clamp so that I can put my trellis together. So I will be back. Okay, guys, just in case you were wondering, a lot of people, they'll zip tie their um, cattle panel to the T-post for their trellis. But the safest way to do it are to use these things right here. Um, let's see. And these are literally called T-post clips. You guys can see. $5.99, get these. And they look like these little metal things. And then you have to buy this little tool that you have to bend it around. I'm going to show you guys all of this when I build it. But let me see if I can find the little T-post thing. Because we need to get this and then we need to get the piece that's going to help us to put it together. Looking, looking, looking. What is that a hole? I think this is it right here. And this is what you're going to need, guys. So you're going to need the T-post. You're going to need your cattle panel. You're going to need the T-post clips. And then you're going to need this three-hole twisting tool. Don't ask me how I know all of these things. It's just like I've been hitting YouTube really hard because I'm trying to get this done right this year. Do it right the first time, so you got to do it again. I've learned that in life. So right now, I have this cute little seed thing, guys. It's adorable. We have our, some sweet alyssum, our T-post things. I have the Mary Washington. So we got everything we got to go. And now I just got to get dirt, and then we're finished. So we're going to have to get maybe... I don't know. I'm probably gonna get six foot T post because I think I already have six feet. It's either six feet or five foot T post that I already have, but it really doesn't matter what T post you get. Like people stress out over that, it really does not matter. So just walk around. So I'm gonna go grab my T post guys and I'm gonna go up to the front and make my purchases and I will see you guys.